Well, welcome back everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And as you can see, I've made a little bit of progress on the truck. And long story short, I'm doing it the uh, quick, fastest way I can to get this motor and transmission and stuff out. And I use the Kentucky Hot Nine. Nothing wrong with that. Truck's going to the scrapyard anyway, so I don't need to save the frame or truck anyway. So, got the body mount here. Put the front rail because I didn't feel like taking out eight bolts. And cut the frame right about the rear of the motor on each side. Pull the wheels off. or are flat anyway. And got the whole thing dropped down. I think I got everything loose there. Got the fuel lines cut. Got the exhaust cut. And as you can see, um, all the wiring, I have all the wiring with it. Like I said, the whole thing is going to go over inside that, whoa, almost fell off the truck, inside that bad boy right there, piecemeal. But I think I got everything free. Before I yank this bad boy out, I'll show you what I did. See? Ducky hot knife there. Uh, that body mount, I cut the bolt, as you can see. And this one right here, I just cut the end of it. You come in here, slice the frame. Well, and transmission cross member, you can see it hide right back in there. And same on this side, transmission cross member. It, I think it's in the frame, I'm not sure. And right there, the frame right there. Oh, and I cut the torsion bar. The one that was left, the other one's gone. I don't know where it is. Well, that tractor hasn't been started in a couple weeks. See, she fires up. Does that help if I get my tools off? There we go. Now, hopefully you can hear me. I think the first plan is going to hook to the sway bar, try to yank it forward. Um, just so I can make sure everything's clear. When it gets closer to the end of the trailer and the end of the... I guess I should put the jack underneath so the trailer don't dip. Because I don't have it hooked up to the truck. Might be a good idea. <laughs> Beast wants to slide on me. Oh, let me look. It is pretty much away. Let's try it. Let's see what she does. Oh, heavy beat. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I have some weight on it. I have it half rigged up. I think it'll work. It probably won't. But now it's going to be Kentucky hot knife time here. Slow there down the motor mounts and front drive shaft. That way, suspension will probably fall off the end of the trailer when I yank it forward. We're going for it. It's going to work. It should work. It probably won't. Is what it is. Dude. Trailer still on fire. Yeah, right down there. I think it was brake fluid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Got like an invisible flame. Sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't. I'm telling you, that's, that's rifling off a good bit of heat here. And I can hear it popping. I think that's like the fourth time she's lit up. It's cool. Yeah, it should be fine. Now, well, it might have been a little sketchy-ish. Probably, but see that jack stand wasn't on by much right there. So I'm gonna have to jack it up, drop it down completely. And still, I gotta get, gotta pull this out. This is for the throttle, throttle cable. See what, what does it say on here? Factory, preset, no adjustment or service. For serviceable parts, serviceable parts inside. So, gotta get that out. I need that. <clears throat> there we go. Motor and transmission are out. With computer. Ugh. It wasn't pretty. But it'll work. So, well, there you go. We got the motor and trans out. Did it the easy way with the Kentucky hot knife. Uh, as you can see, part of the other torsion bar. Because I cut it. I had it jacked up already first before I cut it. So it took some tension off of it. There we go. So. I'm not going to show you the rest of me. Fiddling around, I gotta cut out the rear window, pull the seats, and get this throttle cable out and everything else. Yeah, maybe I'll show you when I'm done. Maybe I'll show you the window. Gotta pull the harness off and then sit there and I'll probably drag a big piece of cardboard inside, set it on the floor. That is still smoldering, by the way. Set it on the floor and then sit there and Try to rig up the harness. Figure out what I got to do with it. Because a bunch of it we're not going to need. 
I'm going to try to get it ready so that when I'm ready after I, whatever I'm going to do the motor, which I'm not sure yet, I try to pop right in the car and wire up and be good to go. Come on, now, stop burning. <laughs> See, that was that whole <laughs> visible flame that I was saying. There we go. So, uh, that's it for now. And then since I'm lazy, I'll probably strap up this, slide to the side, and then use the tractor, pick up the front of the truck, move the jack stands. That way I gotta drag the jack around. The tractor is easier to move around than the jack is. Trust me. So, that's all I got for now. I can remove my jack. Ugh. It worked perfectly. There was my handle, that screwdriver I told you popped off. Yeah, I can fix that. Look, it's like brand new, nothing ever happened. And that one's good too. Perfect. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to catch you on the next one. I got work to do.